And it is an even bigger honor to be sitting, standing, being in front of the Dillard University class of 2017. Actress and singer Janelle Monet walked with dozens of Dillard University grads last weekend getting an honorary degree. Monet starred in the movie Hidden Figures. story of how black women scientists fought Jim Crow laws and helped NASA put a man on the moon. And when I went to do that movie and I played Mary Jackson, um, I had so much pride and my hope was that so many young girls, so many women uh, would want to be more involved in STEM. Picking Monet as a commencement speaker at this historically black college in New Orleans was no accident. Dillard has a proud history of graduating black women with physics degrees. The support structure here was, um, it was dynamic. Pint-sized Dillard, with an enrollment totaling 1,200, has conferred more physics degrees in the past 10 years than any other historically black school, 33, including nine women. The percentage of minorities that go on to pursue graduate degrees in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in general is less than 50% in terms of minority females that are pursuing these graduate degrees. Now we're getting into the single digits. Biomedical engineer Trivia Frazier is a Dillard product. And she says the school owes part of that legacy to Professor Abdallah Darwish. It's about 80% female. And it has been going this one for some time. For almost 20 years, Darwish has built up the department into a well-funded powerhouse, cultivating students who show promise. You might just call Dr. Darwish Dillard's very own hidden figure. Somebody need really to mentor them, to give them the chance. Who encouraged women like Trivia Frazier. I think it is a reflection of him as a human being and his desire to bring out the best in all of us to do their best to pursue their dreams in science. John Moan, Associated Press.